the husband loves touch. Like the husband loves intimacy. They love sex and that's okay. They were wired for that. And then you took it away. Mm -hmm. So guess what? They feel lonely. They feel vulnerable. They feel like bamboozled. Like, Hey, this girl was like living it up over here. Mm -hmm. And then now she's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we, as women need to wrap our heads around the fact that Mm -hmm. it's okay to be a sexual being with your husband. When you have kids, I have five. Okay. (laughs) Like, I am, you know, my kids always are like, you're so cringy because my husband will like grab my butt or something. And mm-hmm. I'm like, but it's okay because we're married. Because we're married. You know, I make it very clear. Like, like we're married. Right. Yeah. This is fine. Yeah. And I'm not ashamed of it. So many girls are. I see this and I see this in marriages. Mm-hmm. They were told over here to do this. Like the enemy is whispering to you, like do this. And then he's over here when you're married, when it's okay, because he knows that good marriages. Again, why do I want good marriages, guys? for that solid family. The Mm. enemy knows that good marriages, if they're split apart by porn and lust, oh my gosh. And they're whispering to the husband, like, Ooh, look at that picture. It's innocent. You're not cheating really. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's the cycle and we have got to stop it. And we are the only ones that can do this. And it's not shaming anybody. I'm not shaming anybody. I'm not judging you. I get it. Mm -hmm. I understand those feelings. Mm -hmm. But I promise you, if you invest in that person that you fell in love with and you got married for, for a reason, and you truly become vulnerable with them, yeah, it will reap so many more rewards and blessings than you could ever imagine. 